Did you know that you can just switch between your apps by sliding on your navigation bar? Or you can just call back your large dialer by clicking on the dial button on your calling app? So in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the most amazing tips and tricks for Android, some of which also works on iOS device as well. So make sure to watch the video till the very end. So my name is Rohit and you are watching Snaptech, so let's get started. So if you are having a bad network or having any other network problem, just turn on and off your airplane mode which will help your device to connect to the nearest cell tower and will resolve your network issue for sure. And if you are using a chrome browser, you can just switch between your tabs by sliding on the search bar. So if you are at a dark place and your flashlight is not making that place bright enough, you can just take a glass of water and put it on your flash which will help you to get more brighter output. So if you are going to some unknown location with the help of maps and your battery percentage is too low, you can just take a screenshot of that map and just turn off your location services as well as data services which will help you to save your battery and that screenshot will help you to get your work done and reach to that destination. So if you find some article on Chrome which is too big to read and if you want to read it somewhere with no data connection or want to share it with your friend, you can just click on the three dots on top right corner of the Chrome browser, just click on print and save the entire page as PDF and it will help you to read it anywhere, anytime without even using the data and you can even share it with your friends over WhatsApp or any other social media platforms. So if you find some product on shopping site that you want to buy, just take a screenshot of that product and put it in Google Lens. There is a really high chance that you might find the same product at a cheaper price at some other website as well. So usually many people come to a place and ask for the Wi-Fi password and if you don't want to give that password but want them to connect and not want them to feel bad about it, you can just go to this website called QR Code Generator and there you can just input your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password and generate a QR code which you can share with anyone and anyone who shares the QR code will get automatically connected to your Wi-Fi network without even sharing the password and if you want you can even print it and stick it somewhere at your place where people can come and directly connect it using the QR code. So if you are getting calls from some unknown number and you can't find the real name even on Truecaller as we know we can change the name on Truecaller as well just go to your Google Pay and paste the number there is an 80% chance that that person will be having a UPI ID and the actual name on Google Pay and you will easily find who that person is. So go to your keyboard setting and make shortcut of certain things which we usually type in our daily life such as our name, address, email address etc. And whenever you want to input that field in some on some website, shopping website or anywhere else, you can just type that shortcut word and your entire name, address or email address whatever you have created shortcut for will automatically get pasted without even taking a lot of time. So if you are having a lot of apps installed on your device, there is a high chance that you might be getting a lot of notifications as well. But there are certain notifications which are really important for us and sometimes we accidentally just swipe it out without reading it. So for that what you can do is go to your settings and just search for notification history and turn it on for the apps that you want and especially I do it for WhatsApp because if someone messages you on WhatsApp and because with the new feature, if someone deletes messages for everyone, still the message stays in notification history so I can even read the messages even after it's deleted. So you can use it for that or you can use it for some other app you don't want to miss notification for. So whenever you sleep at night and you don't have some important call or messages coming in, you can just put your phone on airplane mode which will help you to have a good night's sleep as well as it will help you to keep safe from the radiations that your phones emit all the time. So if you're watching this video that means you watch YouTube frequently. So by swiping up in portrait mode you can just switch to landscape mode and by swiping down in landscape mode you can switch back to portrait mode again and rather than manually tapping on the control slider you can just tap and hold on your screen while watching a video and you can just swipe right and left to navigate forward and backward on your video. So while putting up an insta story many a times our text doesn't becomes visible so to help it all you can do is just click on the pen icon and select the brush icon and just tap and hold on your story by selecting your desired color. After that it will create a translucent layer on your video or image and your text will be completely visible. While clicking a picture outdoor just click on the brightest part of your image which will help you to retain the maximum detail in your image and even the quality of the image will also be good. So while sending any text on whatsapp if you will put an asterisk before start and end of your sentence it will make your entire sentence go bold and on the place of asterisk if you put underscore it will make your text go italic so you can use it to put more emphasis on your text messages. You can use a website called Toffee Share to share any file with anyone without any file size limit and that too without uploading it you can just peer to peer transfer it to anyone without any size limit. So if you want to share some chrome link with someone sometimes the copying process gets tedious so rather than you can just click on the three dots on right top corner of your chrome browser and just click on share button after that you can just click on copy link 
and after that you can share it with anyone you want and it becomes handy and easy to use rather than copying the entire URL. So while unlocking your phone through fingerprint, many of the times it happens that our phone doesn't get unlocked. So to get higher chances of phone unlocks, you just need to put more, one more fingerprint of the same thumb or same finger and if you do it three times, there will be like 99% chance that your, every time you put your fingerprint on your phone, your phone will get unlocked. So whenever you search for some animal over Google, there is this option to view in VR. So if you click that, you can watch that particular animal wherever you want and wherever you aim your camera in VR, it will just look like it has been spawned at your place. So suppose you are at someone's place and you are connected on Wi-Fi on your mobile device, but you also want it to be connected on your laptop, but you don't know the password. You can just use this app called NetShare Wi-Fi Tethering and it will extend your device Wi-Fi and you can easily use it on your other devices such as laptop. So while using a mobile device during night, if you don't have UV filter glasses or any blue light film installed on your device, you can just turn on your eye comfort mode on your device which will make your brightness dim as well as decrease the UV light emission from your device in result which helps you to put less strain on your eyes while using your mobile phone. So to upload the images and reels at the highest possible quality on Instagram, you just need to go to your settings, account, data usage and just turn on the high data usage mode. So it will help you to upload your reels and images at the highest quality possible over Instagram. There is an app called Seal which you can easily download from your browser which helps you to download any audio and video over the internet from any platform with just one click. You can download the app called Hammer Security from Play Store which gives you an option for fake shutdown, fake airplane mode and much more which comes in handy if you accidentally misplace your phone or lose your phone in any way. And it will also send a SOS message along with your phone location to whatever contact you set and if they try to shut down your device, it won't get shut down, it will be in a fake shutdown mode and the same process will happen with your selected contacts. If you don't want to hurt someone's feeling, every social media app got a restrict and mute option so you can just mute and restrict all the people who are really annoying in your life. With the help of Pandora mode on your device, you can take some really cool and magical images on your device just like this one. So after using some apps, frequently we just swipe out all the recent apps thinking that it will just clear the RAM and it will help our device to work smoothly. But to just let you know that by clearing all this thing, whenever you launch that application again, our device again goes through that process to initiate that application in result which increases the RAM consumption. So it's just the other way around. So by swiping out your recent apps won't help in any way because today's smartphone has been enough optimized to manage RAM properly. So if there is any problem with your mobile device, so first thing you should do is just turn it off completely and then again turn it on as most of the problem like 80% of your problem get resolved by just using this simple method. So this is it for this video and meet you in the next one, Snaptech signing out.